This is the Arm Alarm from Y Golf, a training aid that they claim is meant to help you improve the most critical part of your golf swing, your arm structure. In today's video, I'm gonna go through my very first live usage of this training aid and let you know, is it worth the $100 or is it a training aid that you should pass on? This is it, no funny business here. I've actually never even taken this, I just ripped it out of the box. So let's see what the arm alarm is all about. To lay it out there first, I want this to be really, really a great tool, but I'm very, very, very skeptical. Pull this tab to, to activate it. According to the website, you have 10,000 beeps. So if the battery ever dies, they're just gonna send you new ones. So that's, that's, that's a nice touch. Let's uh, just kind of get it on there. So right there you have this, 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 you can bring this in, bring this out, and then there's a lock. Magnet, lock, let's go. And initially, okay, that, it, the magnet feels strong, but not like too strong. Like it's sensitive enough, but it's in there strong enough. But initially right away, it's like, okay, well how long does that need to be? It's adjustable if you want it at your wrist, you want it more on the forearm, you want it more in the biceps. It's kind of playing off the tour striker ball that you would squeeze kind of in your forearms, it would hang from your neck. But already I feel like, okay, got to the top. It, it's to fight people doing this but how tight do you make the string? And for me, I personally would want it pretty tight so that, uh, you know, there's a high standard. But let's just hit one. No beep. Beep. Getting it tight enough on your fore, it's a bit of a, bit of a pickle there. That like just kind of hurts to be fair. You have to get it so tight because that one there just wasn't tight enough, that thing moved. So, for me, I don't fight getting like this. I've always had pretty good arm structure, so I could get it, but I don't really fight losing this width here. I fight getting steep in transition, getting a little narrow, potentially moving a little this way, saving it, fighting a flip from time to time, so I don't know Yeah, I don't know how this will really be good for me, to be fair. For me personally, I don't know what to do for the top of the backswing, how uh, tight I should get it, how, but I, again, I don't fight that, but a lot of, uh, a lot of amateurs do. So yeah, that, that's good. I, I gotta say that's good. For me personally, I want to feel more kind of, I want that face going this way. I want the arms staying, staying tight. So that's where I would see the benefit. But just having to just hit, hit three shots, I feel it forcing me to, to be tighter through impact and through the follow through as opposed to kind of getting a little bit wide or a little bit, bit loose. And I mean, some people may fight, fight that. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna benefit me a whole lot, but just mentally knowing it's there and knowing I don't want it to come off. Because again, as I, as I work to try to, you know, maintain a bit of shaft lean, I, I fight dumping it and extending just a little early. The left arm can, I could basically pull too much with the left arm and pull it off. So that I will, I will feel some benefit, benefit from. It's, it's, it's almost mimicking a, a shaft drill where I put an alignment shaft here and I want to hit it like this. I feel like the arm alarm I could pair with some other drills because I typically use, like I'll use bands maybe in my knees. So just feeling that tension of the band, fighting against the band, it's a similar idea as, as having maybe an elastic band around your, uh, or TheraBand around your forearms. You got to feel a bit of that tension. But for people that get 
But see, you can even, you know, how, how tight do you make it? That's, that's the question, right? Because, you know, we wanna get, we get really close here. Okay, so that's super close. Let's see what I can do. See, that almost might be better. Get it in there really tight so that it allows me through, uh, through the follow through to just be a bit more free, not holding on so much. But having just hit five, six shots, it is very easy to just kind of click in, out, click in and out. And it doesn't feel like it's inhibiting me. There we go, a little quick, a little quick with the right hand. Oh, I might've just found something good there. Help the takeaway. Feel a bit more power going to that. Having it just be as tight as possible keeps me from getting a little fast off the ball. There you go. Your, your forearms, your structure, your space just gets, it's easy you get a little rush, you little rush it off or you rush it down in transition. That could be good. And then, but it still allows me, it's like the, uh, you know, the, the glove under the arm. You can still let that glove fall. Hmm, okay. Instant benefit I, I'm feeling is rhythm, sequencing rhythm, because subconsciously you know you don't want to hear that beep, you don't want this thing to come apart. I feel like it helps with sequencing with rhythm. So I could put it like higher, or I could, no, you're kind of limited to how much, oh, oh, wait a minute, this gets a little bit bigger, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go a little bit higher up um, maybe like closer to the, the elbows, because that's definitely an area that my action could benefit from. So, hey, learn as we go. There is a lot of adjustability in this. That's, that's good. And then, boom, that's, that's easy enough. You're kind of guessing on, on length. See, I could go, let's see then. It's like, okay, I could go a little bit tighter there, but that's very easy there. Okay. So it's like you want to keep the tension, losing it's okay, because then if you get too narrow here, it's a problem. So you want to keep the tension, but not, boom. Okay, get in there, there we go. That just causes me to get thin. I don't know if I like it this high, because I like practicing with like maybe like a, a dodgeball here, but that's creating tension arm structure that way, the feedback is if you do it wrong versus if you're holding a ball there, the feedback is both in the tension you're keeping with the ball and if you lose it, the ball drops. Like I said, I want to, I really want to like it, but I think it's got limitations. I think it's got limitations. Let's try this wrist. One. So the wrist one, basically it, it clips onto your glove, kind of. Come on, it's not the easiest to just clip. It's like you gotta take your glove off to clip it on. That's a little annoying, but I get it. It ain't going the way that like, because of that, like it ain't going anywhere. So that's obviously what you want. And this they claim is for kind of like your short game, keeping that angle. flipping it, but nothing's happening. There you go. You got it pretty aggressively. Uh, you got to pretty aggressively flip it. So again, okay, I'm going to be a bit critical here. It's like, yeah, that clips on there. Great. You got to make sure you've got this, like the right size, but if you already have something on your wrist, like a whoop, a watch, whatever, um, that's gonna get in the way. So that's like, okay, grasp at straws, but user experience is everything. So this, see, ooh, I feel like this would be better for me because I wanna make sure I'm getting through impact and not losing my angle too soon. Obviously like this is the, uh, the exaggeration. I don't fight with that, but a lot of golfers, ooh, See, at the top though, you gotta get it. See, that's not gonna work. You gotta get it in the perfect place at the top. I'm, I'm saying the, 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 the bracelet, because there it's like, you know, I'm pretty, okay, move it over 
a bit. I'm pretty happy with that position at the top. So I gotta move this. Okay. So it's like you gotta find the right spot where it clips on your glove so that you get to a good place. See, I like that place at the top. Mm, fighting here. That could be a good little aid for it, making sure you wanna get to the right place at the top. People that fight this cupping, you're not really gonna deal with. Okay, let's, we're getting off, we've lost the pot. So for me, it's maybe just do half swings because I wanna feel, I don't want that. Half swings, but like high speed. That is good. I like that more than the, the string because get a little uh, overly aggressive, like it's, we're going through those 10,000 beeps. Let's see there, I, I purposely was like, okay, let's, let's not pay attention to it, let's flip it, and it flipped early. So I wanna maintain some wrist angle here, keep that face from going like that. I wanna kinda of go in like that, because my thing in my full swing is I fight, and then this can kinda of happen. It's like it kinda of forces you to drive it. That is good. But, gotta find the right, <laughs> exact right positioning on your inside of your forearm, your wrist, where it needs to go. So that's where there's a lot of like human elements that can make this really great, but also make it just terrible for you because it's just in the wrong spot and you think you're doing it right, but you're actually making things worse. Whereas like the ball, a, a beach ball, a dodge ball, really one way to hold it. I like it. Mm. So full swing. I found the right spot on the inside of my wrist, essentially. I mean, I feel solid though. Whatever the there's 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 holes in it. It could be better, but it it's effective. It's working if you know exactly where it needs to go and what you're working on with so yeah it's it's good i would give it a three and a half stars out of five it's a training aid that has great feedback that does a lot of good things but it's a training aid that i think can do a lot of harm if you don't have it in the right place or don't have the right guidance on what you're looking for with this training aid a lot of training aids are great but they're not great for someone who's trying to self-diagnose and self-fix a problem in their golf swing. If a golf coach, if an instructor gives you this training aid and said, this is what I think you should use it for and this is how it's gonna help you, this thing could really, really help you. But if you just think you do something and you get a training aid because it's it's helping what you think you do, you could be doing a lot more harm than good. You could pass on it or you could use it, but use it with caution and make sure you have a bit of direction as to why you're using the arm alarm.